Mail bag time, we'll go through these things. We'll go through, as always, smallest to largest. There'll be links down below for anything I can give you links for, as always. I sense a deja vu here. The last mail bag started off with these bulbs as well. But these are six volt bulbs, little grain of wheat bulbs. I had some 12 volt ones already. I needed some 24 and some 6 volts, so last week I've got 24s, this week I've got 6 volt. Batteries. Well, these NICADs, nickel cadmium, 4.8 volt. Now, I needed these for something. There's a project I was working on, and I actually needed NICADs for it. I've got some NICADs 3.6, 3.6, and 4.8. I've got two of each. I'm trying to remember what I actually needed these for. There was something I was working on which needed NICAD. And I don't remember what it is now. It's gone. This, I don't know. <laughs> My memory isn't what it used to be. Jeez. I bought them for something. I needed them for something. I'm sure I'll remember eventually. I'm not dropping this on this. It's a uh, display. I don't remember exactly what the specs were for this thing. It's got a flex connector. Hmm. It's got a pin out marked here, what the connections are. And it takes a flex. I think this particular display was mentioned on EV Blog Forum as a potential replacement for my Advantest 6581T, which is the a half digit multiman I've got there, which has got a failing display. It's got these VFDs in there and they're failing. And this apparently is just about the right size to fit to replace the display. Maybe slightly big apparently, but it might just shoehorn in there. And I'm looking at options of what I can actually put in. And this is one of them. This was not cheap, this display. I think it's like $90 or something for this one. I can't remember. Takes a flex cable, which is fine. I'll have to get one. I probably even got one that fits that. How to interface this yet? I've got no idea. That'll be a future project one day when I get time to sit down and reverse engineer stuff and actually try and get this to work. It's just one of these things. I'll get there eventually. I've got some cow stickers. Because the amount of times I've actually worked on gear, I thought, you know, I'll calibrate it with what equipment I have here to adjust them, you know, do the adjustment and get them as close as I can with what I have. I was thinking, well, I should probably put some calibration stickers on them so I know when I last looked at that piece of gear and last adjusted it to uh, match my other standards. And I'm, I don't know, there's way, <laughs> there's way more here than I'd ever need, probably. I could have potentially just bought stickers on the A4 sheet and printed them out myself, but these weren't that expensive to get. There'd be links down below for those. Oh, there's more than my thing in here. You're getting a twofer. These are some screws. Quarter inch screws. Yeah, one eighth and one quarter or something, I don't know. I'm not really up to par with Imperial. There you go, one eighth by 40 by one quarter. So 40 be threads per inch. And these are the same, one eighth by 40 thread per inch, but three quarters long. So, so that's three quarters an inch long, there's a quarter inch long. The reason I've got some Imperial ones is because a lot of tests get like HP stuff especially. They use Imperial screws. And I was just trying to find some Imperial screws because all my stuff is basically metric. I've got very few Imperial screws or bolts or what have you. So I saw these, thought, yeah, I might grab some of them just to have a small stock. I'm not even sure these are the right size. If someone knows what sizes HP tend to use in the gear, perhaps you can tell me. I'm just guessing. Lots of bubble wrap on this one. It's a good one. And here are some more displays. Oh, look at the state of those pins. <laughs> oh dear. Hopefully they're all still there. Just checking they're all still in place at least. Yeah, they're all bent, but they're in place. And you've got this one here as well. Same deal. All bent, but in place. These are, are salvaged, I think. Maybe salvaged. I don't think they're new. But there's a few type of displays. Also VFD. And also a potential replacement for my Adventist R6581T. I believe these have got like serial interfaces on them. They've got a chip built into them. And actually just put basically power into it and put, I think it's the SPI or something into it. And you can actually display using SPI. So these look like a good option as well. And also very much the similar kind of size. So they look okay apart from the pins being a bit bent. It's probably nothing. I can probably straighten them up carefully and they'll be alright. But obviously they were packaged that way. Maybe they bent when I shoved them into the foam. I don't know. They're intact. So that's the important thing. Yeah. Bonus package. It's just arrived today. I'll just open it up. I think it might be more than one thing in there, but it's not. Let's see what's in here. Ah, kiwis. I'm wearing the white shirt. Look at that. 
Okay, Kyrie sent me a gift pack, it seems. What's in here? Got this bag, this fabric bag. Be useful. So I send you a Christmas jolt of gratitude for the electrifying collaboration we've shared. May your festive season be merry and your new year be filled with more bright opportunities. Riov. Thank you much, Riov. Is it Riov? I don't know, I don't know. Anyway. What have we got here? A few things. So we're gonna have a shirt. Lovely. What's this? What is this? Okay, I don't know what this is. <laughs> oh, there's a pin attachment, is it? There's a pin attachment there. Is that like a scriber? It's got an end on here as well. Oh, there's a torch on there. Okay, there's a torch on the back. So, oh, there you go. Put your button on the side, little torch on the back there. And it's like a scriber there. There's a pin there. Okay. Like a multifunction thing. What's in here? Oh, there's a little knife blade in there. <laughs> Interesting little device. Oh, still more unscrewing. Oh, that's the end it comes off. Oh, I'll just drop it on the floor, it's never going to be seen again. How unusual! So, I mean, you can actually also turn it around and put it in that way. Use it as a pen that way. And it's aluminium chassis. So, it's got some spare little tips there for the pen. And some spare batteries. I'm going to go find that bit I just dropped on the floor. I'm sure this is like a glass cutting or maybe scribing piece for scribing things. Awesome. What else have we got here? Like a Kyrie scarf, I think. Feels quite nice, actually. Feels quite nice. Don't know what it's made from. So here, some key rings. It looks like so a big beefy key ring. So one goes around your belt. So you, you know, as you put this around your belt, and then you can hook your keys onto this. It's got a latching bit like this. So you can latch your keys in there. It's got some little loops on there as already. It's got this pin, which is which screws in. Was it a hammer? That's a hammer, isn't it? Oh look, it even spins. <laughs> Alright, that's those. And they've got a little screwdriver, which obviously meant for uh, doing this bit up. So there's the colour logo on this shirt. This is the shirt I happen to be wearing right now. Just out of pure coincidence. And that's the one they sent me before. I think it's last Christmas they sent me this shirt. So yeah, another one. Lovely. Shirts always handy. You always wear shirts. So thank you much, Reorv, and Kyrie for sending this to me. That's a uh, nice little gift. Don't forget to check out my Kai Reitz reviews. I've done reviews of Kai Reitz stuff, which is why I've got this relationship with them. So don't forget to check those out. There's a playlist, I think, probably. Maybe, anyway. Multimeter reviews be in there. All right, last box. I think it's from Amazon. Which means I think I know what's in here already. Imperial nuts and bolts. Well, mixture. It's got washers in there as well. But it's the bolts is what I really wanted. And they're all the sizes. It's supposed to be stainless steel. It's supposed to be. 304. It probably are. Who knows? So I don't know if these are the sizes I need. Number sixes and stuff. I think number six might be one of the ones I need. I really have no idea. Like I said before, not into Imperial stuff, but test gear sometimes has Imperial equipment. And the next one here, similar deal, slightly even set up. I think it's got some smaller sizes or bigger sizes in it. I don't know, anyway, it's got bigger sizes in this one. So I'm thinking that it's about this size here. Those ones are the ones which are often found in gear. It's about those ones, that kind of size, maybe these ones or something like that. Anyway, so I've got some assortment, so there's a good chance now when I have gear which has got missing screws, which I find quite often have a better chance of having a screw which fits to replace it with rather than having to dig through all my scrap screws drawers hoping to find something that actually fit. Check out other links down below for other videos, repair videos, things like that if you're interested in seeing any of those. Subscribe over here if you're not already subscribed and over there is a Patreon support link. And if you're viewing this video on a different platform, not YouTube, hello, enjoy the free video. <laughs>